have you back uh, on the show. Uh, I now have Dr. Uh, Bongo Adi, a Lagos Business School uh, senior uh, lecturer. He's joining us to discuss this. Uh, apologies for all of the challenges, uh, Dr. Adi. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. V very straightforward. What do you make of our present debt profile and where Nigeria stands? Uh, many say we don't have a choice. We just have to keep borrowing. Well, um, we have to look at Nigeria as a growing concern, um, let's say, a firm, an organization, right? Uh, we look at uh, the area of opportunities that fire development, uh, which, of course, required huge capital inclusion for, uh, for those, uh, you know, opportunities to be developed, such that uh, they will add to economic growth, creating jobs, and all of that, and uh, improving productivity. So when you look at uh, Nigeria, in the of opportunities that are found, of course, uh, if there is no limit to the amount of money that is coming. So, but the challenge here is, of course, through which it comes to, should government be the one that is getting money for investment? But that's the justification for this borrowing. Uh, government justifies borrowing on the grounds that it's going to improve an infrastructure, to build a uh, much needed, uh, you know, public good. Um, and of course, these are all critical uh, development and growth and development. Now, there is no, nobody will pay the government over that. But where the issue here is that, um, you know, we are going in against uh, uh, revenue, okay, which is not much, you know. So we are speaking. I overheard the interview with uh, uh, the earlier guest. Then uh, he, he was saying it, that, uh, you know, we are, in, we are under pressure. At the same time, government is paying a whole lot of stuff in so with that, you know, it's not just making sense that government is borrowing money to pay something. So uh, his conclusion is that government should just immediately remove the stuff. And of course, that has been the argument of many, I think, in, um, in Nigeria for the past uh, many years. Okay, that government should have all the subsidies in. Not just that, government should also clearly, clearly find ways to introduce the market. Uh, rationality to govern economic activity in Nigeria. Okay, not government being at the center. So the reason why we are worried is because government still wants to be the sole distributor of goods and services, which is abnormal in our economy such as now. Okay, so we have the population, we have opportunity. So if you leave it to the private market, um, individuals are uh, looking for 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 for, for profit looking for opportunity, we immediately take them on, okay, and invest in them, and, and then uh, ask the economy growth and take them much needed jobs. It shouldn't be government doing everything. I think that is the justification for this borrowing. Government just wants to be in charge of everything, wants to be in the commanding high economy. It has not paid us. It is not paying. It says it is actually, you know, um, creating more problems for us. Hmm. Now, let's not look at capacity to even service what we have on ground. <laughs> Dr. Adi, what do you make of it? In 2020, about 80% of our revenue, close to 80% was used to service our yeah, debt. I, I don't like statistics. Those statistics don't really make sense because uh, we have to look at Nigeria. Nigeria is the economy. Nigeria is the economy, right? Hmm. So our debt so far is just about uh, um, uh, 100 and something billion dollars. As against the GDP of uh, more than, because if we, we, we pay to our GDP, we will be getting very close to the trillion, uh, uh, you know, dollar GDP currently. So that is a reality of the situation. But, okay, so that is what we have to look at, because that is also what um, I think uh, those who lend the money to government uh, uh, you know, see when they look at Nigeria. The people from abroad looking at it, you only, the only thing you see in Nigeria is opportunity. And then you see a very huge uh, uh, um, economy, and then you have very huge demand that requires to be met across all sectors, whether it's manufacturing or agriculture or education or health, whatever. Name them. There is huge opportunity. So our government can always play that card, and they will always get the money. Yes. Okay? So uh, people are not just looking at that. Let me, we are looking at Nigeria as a growing concern. I think we mentioned growing concern from the point of view of any rational investment. But the talent that we have, 
They said, I don't want to be talking about revenue. I have the capacity to run for revenue if only government can do the necessary. They missed the basic one and the crucial one, which is the one that will make or, uh, make or break Nigeria, is that of security. Okay? I don't know why we think to, we tend to downplay the issue of security in Nigeria, but that is the major economic variable. Of course, we do not include that in our education situation. Security is not part of business. We look at as a macroeconomic variable. But look at it. If there is insecurity, there is instability, all these discussions, all these discussions, you know, there will be no jobs, there will be no economy. So security is number one. So let government provide the basic thing. And then other things will take care of. So I don't want to be, you know, worrying with them at 50% or 80% or, or, or 90% or even like 90% death to revenue ratio. Those things do not really matter. What matters currently is that government does the necessary thing. Provides an enabling environment, calm down the situation in the country so that investors can see Nigeria as an attractive spot. And they will begin to do things because we've got the numbers, we've got the opportunities. I keep saying that. All right, I think it's a good way to leave it. Uh, Dr. Bongoadi, we hope to have you uh, subsequently on the show so that you can break this really down uh, for us. Again, I apologize for all of the challenges we face today in trying to Thank connect you. Very you. Much. I'm looking forward to that, really. All right, uh, all, all right, we'll work that out. Senior lecturer at Lagos Business School, director for Center for Infrastructure Policy Regulation and Advancement, Dr. Bongoadi. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.